My first visa experience was 22 years ago as a law student. Uh, I was a 2L at Howard University and uh, we convinced our dean to send a group of students to the Beasla Conference and uh, that year the conference was held in Maui, Hawaii. My first significant Beasla experience was 1991. Um, I came out of law school in 90. I was a first year lawyer and had talked the law firm into allowing me to go to Cancun to hang out with this organization of lawyers. My first Beasla experience was in the late 90s. I had just transitioned from doing corporate law to do entertainment law um, with a record label that I co-owned. And it was a regional event in DC. My first Beasla experience was in 2000 at the annual conference in St. Thomas. And I actually had an amazing time. I met a lot of people. I was a new lawyer um, practicing at Viacom. And it really gave me the opportunity to to meet a lot of people that I had not known and to really learn more about um, the organization as a whole. I was involved in Beasley in the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, I was on one of the litigation panels uh, back then. Not many lawyers were doing litigation. Uh, and uh, I had an opportunity to meet a lot of people and talk about litigation and be a panel member and that was very exciting for me. My first significant Beasley experience was going down to an offshore convention and seminar and looking around and seeing all of my heroes. Heroes who had made a legend in the entertainment and sports uh, industries. My first significant event with Beasla involved my very first conference with Beasla. Uh, after my panel presentation, I remember Tim Crawford, one of Beasla's founders, coming to me and saying, Bill, you're going on the board immediately. And I said, well, how is this? This is my first conference. He merely said, well, we have no Beasley board members who are involved with sports on a full-time basis, and you are, and therefore we need your voice. Our counterparts had their old boy network. We had none. They didn't really accept us into their network um, because we came from different cultures. Beasley has given me an amazing foundation. You know, as a young African-American lawyer, a civil litigator at the time I started my career, I didn't have really anywhere to get kind of formal um, access to the business, formal education about the business, or just kind of be around people who were literally doing it uh, in the way that I had envisioned it. I think it's important for us all to remember where we came from and what we still need to achieve. We're stunned by the genius of each of these panelists. Um, it was something that we were unaware of. We got a lot of reaction from the people who were there. They, they were asking some really good questions. And I think it made all of us realize that you have to have some strong reasons why people attend this. It's not just a networking opportunity, but it, they need to, to leave the conference uh, and go back home knowing that they've learned something that they can use and they can monetize. There's nothing better than to be able to have any sort of entertainment and sports matter, uh, whether it's for an existing client or for a prospective client, and knowing that I can just go through my own Beasley Rolodex and know that I have someone who is extremely capable uh, and knowledgeable to help us get from A to B in that deal or transaction or piece of litigation. With respect to how you look and define what an attorney is with respect to his business, you look at black attorneys, they change the scope of how you do business. How else do you meet those people? It can take you five years to meet the people that you can meet in two days. Beasley is a very unique uh, organization. It gives you an opportunity uh, to network with incredibly experienced people, knowledgeable people, people who are networking. Um, I did not have such a network initially, so it was really great for me. I established really long-term relationships, both business and professional understanding where the money is made, how to protect my clients, and when new technologies come out, mastering what that new technology has to offer in terms of from the legal and business side and making sure that my clients are registered, protected, and take advantage of uh, these new opportunities. But the fact is, if you open someone's mind and give them an opportunity, you don't know what they can achieve. Absolutely, Beasley is an invaluable experience for any young law student or young lawyer, and it gives them an opportunity both to network and to get educational opportunities about entertainment and sports law. So over the years, we've seen a greater growth in terms of the professionals involved with sports and entertainment, men and women. I think 
uh, Beasley uh, should be uh, recognized for its contribution in that respect because there are some current leaders of Beasley who I met as first year law students. And now I see them in prominent positions, not only within this organization, but within the industry. And that is gratifying to see. As we try to define Beasley's role over the next 35 years, I think now more than ever, it's, it's extremely relevant and important that Beasley continues on. I think Beasla on his 35th anniversary is more relevant than ever. We have a huge need to support our young people from law school um, who come into the practice and also to ensure that we have opportunities for them as they develop in their careers. So this organization is more relevant than ever in my opinion. You have not begun to see the power of black ingenuity, innovation, and intellect. As a matter of fact, Beasley just doesn't stand for Black Entertainment and Sports Lawyers Association. It stands for the best entertainment and sports lawyers in America. These attorneys have had to either do that by placing themselves in the bigger and larger settings, maybe outside of boutique law firm types of settings where they could get access to tax attorneys, real estate attorneys, every type of attorney, or turning to organizations like Visa. Well, it makes me so proud to see the level of uh, success that, that Beasley has attained and, and the quality of, of the uh, lawyers that, that we have. Our attorneys now know and, and are fully cognizant of everything that's available and they fight for their artists. To the OGs and OOGs of Beasley, the legendary Bill Strickland, Larkin Arnold, uh, Leroy Bobbitt, Flash Wiley, Louise West, and all of the founders of Beesla. But for you, we would not be able to do this.